Hi everybody, it's Miss Gwen again. Welcome back to the Cinco de Mayo craft portion of this program. So hopefully you've picked up your bag. And if you haven't, or there were none left, you can always watch the video, see what materials I use, and then you can get some from around your house. So inside we'll have some fact, fun fact sheets and a coloring page about Cinco de Mayo. We'll also have a little sheet with that tells you what's inside the bag and some tips. And as a special treat, I put in the recipe for guacamole. Very yummy. And especially because, and you'll see this on your coloring sheet, that 70 million pounds of avocados are eaten on Cinco de Mayo in the United States alone. And if you're a fan of guacamole like me, you will be happy to hear that. So we are going to be making worry dolls. So worry dolls, a lot of people um, think that they're just from Guatemala, but they're also from other uh, South American countries, Mexico included. Sometimes they're called trouble dolls. So they usually start um, with like a, you can use a you know a, a twig or a piece of wire. We're going to be using some clothespins. And then in your bag, you also received a fun sticker. You can put that on your shirt or in your sticker book. And then I gave you some yarn and some ribbon and a little piece of pipe cleaner and then a little baggie with some beads and other fun things that you can add just to make fun. And if you have other embellishments lying around the house, bring them over and use them. So to start off with, you want to decide, I gave you some yarn, different colored yarns. Everybody gets something different. So you might want to figure out, hmm, do I want my worry doll to look like me or maybe somebody else? Or do you want it to have hair or no hair? Or maybe later you'll use, say, one of the flowers and you'll glue it on the top so that instead of hair, it has petals. So I think I'm just going to start with the shirt here. So what you want to do is you're, and you might need some help. The little kids might need some help. You're going to tie this on like that. And I'm gonna tie it again to make sure it's nice and sturdy. You just tie it on like that. Or if you want, you can get like a little piece of tape or a little piece of glue and glue it on. And then if you want, you can also cut the end of it. And then you're just gonna push that down. And then you're just going to start wrapping. Just gonna start wrapping around. And then you're gonna wrap around that piece so that it lays flat. And then before you get to the very end, if you want to switch a color, maybe I'll make his shirt, let me push this down so you can see a little bit better. Is that the phone falling? You're going to tie the two ends together. Like that. And then, and if you have yarn at home and you would rather make your worry doll all one color, their clothing all one color, that's fine. You can use your own yarn. So you just keep going. And then when you get to this part here, which would be the legs, you can either give your worry doll pants or a skirt or both. So you just wanna go through down like that. Maybe I'll give mine shorts. And then I'm going to turn it over, push it down, there you go, like that. And then what you can do with this piece is you can wrap it around like that, 
until there's a little bit left. And I'm just going to shove it into the middle. There we go. There he is. For her. And then I think I'm going to use a little dab of glue to put some other stuff on. You can also get your pipe cleaner if you want. You can use this as arms. You can wrap it around. Like that. And then you can also get your markers and you can draw in some eyes. I'm going to use magenta. You can draw a face if you want. Okay. And then, which I didn't mention before, while you were wrapping, you could have added some beads. So I can undo this a little bit if I want. Say I wanted some beads on the shorts. Oops, just want to stay up straight. And you can certainly have your big person help with this. You can put, the bead is big enough that the yarn can go through. There's one bead on one side. Maybe I'll put another bead on the other side. There we go. There. And you could have done it up top too. Just a nice decorative touch. Remember, this is your, your little worry doll, so you can make it any way you want. Okay. And then I think I'm going to use some of my other embellishments. Like I do have some ribbon, and you can cut this, make it smaller if you wanna add it somewhere. And I also gave you a feather and a pom-pom. So maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna add a dab of glue on the top. Just like that. I'm gonna add the pom-pom. And then I'm gonna add a little glue on the back here. And I'm going to add my feather. I kinda of like that. Then you might have to let it dry. You might have to hold it for a little while until, oops, this pom-pom fell off, until it dries. Pretty fancy. <laughs> I like that. So what you do with your worry doll is you tell it your worries. I'm going to tell it my worries at night before you go to bed. And then you put it under your pillow. And when you're sleeping, all your worries will go away. So you can make more of these if you have other clothespins. You can make some for family members as a gift. Remember Mother's Day and Father's Day are coming up, or if you have a friend's birthday, or just for yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed making your worry doll, and I hope you don't worry anymore, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and remember, please take a picture of your worry doll and send it to me at ggatto at lmls.org so I can put it on our uh, Facebook page. Bye.